Sports Industry TV caught up with the England badminton team before they head off to Delhi for the Commonwealth Games. So we took the opportunity to gain an insight into the game and see what their chances are of coming away from India with a medal. We've been training really hard for it for the last three or four weeks. We both know that if we play to our ability that we can, we can definitely uh, win a medal of any colour. How important is it that you guys perform well to try and increase participation levels? I think it's really important because it is a high profile event, the whole Games, you know, so people will be paying more attention to it than they ordinarily would. So if we can all do well, then it should hopefully push up Bumps' profile in the public eye. How would you assess the state of English badminton right now? Um, I think it's, it's, it's slightly in a transitional period. We've just lost two or three of our top achievers over the last period of time. We've lost Anna Kellogg and Gail Ems and Tracy Hallam in the, you know, the last year or so. Um, and obviously they've achieved for many years for us at the highest level. So it's, um, they're, they're a hard act to replace and uh, we've got some really talented young players that are working really hard to step into their shoes. One of the things that may affect the team's mental state of mind could be the security issues surrounding the games. So do the players worry about it? It's in the back of your mind, but we have no concerns from a performance point of view at all. Yeah, I think obviously we're going to a Commonwealth Games and that's, everyone's excited to be there. Obviously security, it, it could be an issue, but it's not our issue. Yeah, to be honest, I'd just ignore it. I mean, I'm sure the security is going to be good there. I've heard that they've got really high security there, so it's not something that I'm going to be worrying about when I get there. Sport Industry TV also managed to get a few tips from the country's best players. OK, basically, to do a smash, you've got to take the shuttle as high as possible so you get like a better angle coming down because you know the steeper the smash then the better it is. Um, you want to keep your eye on the shuttle so you know if you're looking somewhere else you're obviously going to miss the shuttle. So here's how you do it. How about show you a what's known as a drop shot. It's um, overhead shot um, when you've got plenty of time. Um, it's used to mainly get your opponent out of position. Um, it's almost like a fake smash so they back off and then to bring them in. So it's mainly used to get them out of position so that then you can hit a winning shot. The Babington team is one of the best hopes of bringing medals back to England and their relaxed mood could see them be very successful.